Hi everybody, this is Agnesa from No Sediment and today let's talk about sweet wines that are made from grapes that are affected by noble rot. Naturally, sweet wines can be achieved in different ways. I actually talk about it in my very first YouTube video. But the most prized and possibly age-worthy wines come from grapes that are infected by Botrytis. Botrytis cinerea is a fungi, an organism that initiates grey rot. However, with the right conditions and grape variety, instead of turning grey and fluffy, grape dehydrates and the sugars concentrate. Noble rot will also alter the aroma profile. Therefore, wines that are made with even the smallest percentage of grapes that have been affected by Botrytis will show very distinctive aroma characteristics, such as chamomile, saffron and linden honey. While it is not fully understood yet how exactly it happens that grapes, instead of being devastated by grey rot, turn into this pure sweet essence, it is believed that perfect conditions require misty and foggy mornings and dry sunny afternoons. Therefore, wet mornings will initiate the development of fungi, while dry and sunny afternoons will not allow it to develop fully into grey rot. But the weather is unpredictable, which means that even in winemaking regions that are strongly associated with sweet wines made from botrytized grapes, it will not be possible to make these wines every year. As the rot does not affect whole bunch at once, in some regions the affected grapes will only be picked, leaving the healthy ones on the wine. That means that whoever is picking the grapes will need to go through the vineyards several times. Grape varieties such as Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc, Semillon, Chenin Blanc, Muscat and Ferment. It is also important to note that these grape varieties can hold their acidity. And that means that sweet, luscious wines made from these grape varieties will almost never taste sticky or cloaking. In fact, some might have acidity so high that they seem fresh and light despite the fact that they have high residual sugar levels. So, you have to be looking at the areas that are famous with these beautiful morning mists. For example, Saturns in Bordeaux is famous with their sweet wines. It is because cooler river Siron meets much warmer river Garonne, causing frequent morning mists. If the weather is merciful, and the dry and sunny afternoons follow, the noble rot will develop. Likewise, in Mosel, Germany, Neuziedlersee in Austria, and Tokai in Hungary, all these wine regions are famous with their luscious sweet wines. Wines that are made from grapes affected by noble rot will have high aroma intensity. Greatest majority of them will be sweet or even luscious. The aroma characteristics include marzipan, saffron, blossom honey, preserved citrus and tropical fruits. As grapes are highly dehydrated during the infection process, it will not only concentrate the sugars but also the acidity. Therefore, the greatest of these sweet wines will also show mouth-watering sensation. In terms of alcohol level, it really depends. Wines such as Sautern will usually have 13% or higher, while Trockenberg and Auslese from Germany and Tokai from Hungary will rarely reach 10%. While you can pair these wines with very sweet and decadent desserts, they will also pair beautifully with aged blue cheeses such as Roquefort and Stilton. I hope you liked my video. Many beautiful dessert wines are made from Riesling grape variety, so make sure to watch my other video on Riesling.